Hello friends, today let's solve the concatenate words problem. Given a list of words without duplicates, please write a program that returns all concatenated words in the given list of words. We define a, a concatenated word is, as a string that is compromised entirely of at least two shorter words in a given array. Let's see this given example. Uh, if the input is a list of the strings, and the output will be these three words. Why? Because the cats, dog, cats can be concatenated by cats, dog, cats, so on and so forth. So this problem may remind you of the word break problem. There is just a little modification from that solution. We will see. Okay. After reading this uh, question statement, uh, we have some intuition. First is, we need to check each word and see whether it could be broken into other words in the list. It can not be concatenated by itself because we need to concatenate it by at least two shorter words in a given rate. So um, just like in the word break, we need to change this word list to a word set because look up in the hash set is big O1 complexity and we build a hash set from a word list we call it a set and then we need to iterate all the words we first need to remove it from set mm, and then check whether it can be broken in other words as we need to iterate all the words, so the time complexity here will has a big O M. M is the number of the words in the uh, the number of the words in this set. And then we will call this can break function. We pass the string s and we also pass the set. Okay. Then we need uh, if the given word is the cat dog cat n is its length. So we will build a Boolean array called it dp. And the size will be n plus 1. Because we need to initialize dp0 to 2. Uh, that means for an empty string, we know it can be broken from the words in the dictionary. And then we have two options. One option is that we iterate the i from 0 to n. And uh, for the J, we iterate the rest part. This is what I wrote uh, in the word break solution. So we first check if DPI is, is false, then we no need to check the I to J, right? Because it already cannot be broken. So we just continue. Then DPI equal to true. And we iterate j from i plus 1 to n. This is the closed, this is open. And uh, if the substring from i to j is in the set, we know dpj is true. So it should be correct. But the problem is that for the dpj, we calculate many times. Because for every i, we will iterate the rest part. So for a certain part, j, we checked many times, but it's useless because in the end, we just need to return whether dpn is true or false. So this part is not optimal. For time complexity, this part is n, this part is n, and this part check whether this substring in the set it should be m. So the time complexity is big O n squared times m and we can optimize this part by switch um, not switch just uh, for the j we iterate its um, previous part other than its following part so this is option 2 for the i we iterate from 1 to n this is closed compared to this open part and for the j we iterate from 0 to i. The same if the d 
DPJ is false, that means no need to check the substring J to I, we just continue. If the DPJ is true, we check whether S dot substring J to I is in the set. If it's in the set, we know DPI is true, and we just break. And this part saved a lot of time because we only get one possible DPI equal to true. If we get it true, we just continue to next uh, uh, value of the i. So we avoid the many useless calculations. Although the worst time complexity is still big O n squared times m. So in total, the time complexity is big O n squared times m squared. Uh, because the you know this part is big O m and the inside is big O n squared times m, so we just time these two parts, we get this time complexity. For the space complexity is linear, max of this m and uh, n n is the longest word length in word list and m is the size of the word set. Okay, so now let's implement uh, the option two. Uh, first, write a uh, list string. It's called the result, and then we need uh, a set string. Set new hash set. We build the set. Iterate all the string in the words. Set to add this s, and then iterate again. We first remove it from the set. Remove s. And uh, call another function can break. Put uh, put s and the uh, set as parameter. If it can, then result will add this s. And uh, remember to add it to the set. Finally, return result. Then let's implement this can break uh, function. We pass string and uh, set string. We call it set. Okay, do some edge case check if the set size equal to zero, just to return force. We get n, which is the size of this s. And if n equal to zero, just to return force, cannot be broken to other parts. But if it's greater than zero, we will let the dp zero equal to true. Now, create a dp array n plus 1 dp0 equal to true okay then i from 1 i less or equal than n i plus plus from for j from 0 j less than i j plus plus if the dp j equal to false just con um, continue and then we have a substring so if set contains this s substring uh, j to i, then dp i equal to true. We just a, br a break and go to next i value. So in the end, we just return dp n. OK. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Hmm? Okay.